Hey guys, SD here. Sitting there chatting with uh, Alan and Doug. And coming up with a little bit of tune up points here. One thing uh, Doug recommended was just take this uh, trigger coil. And we've already got the spacing set for its best performance. But what Doug was saying is if you keep that spacing there and just pivot this one way or another a little bit, left or right, or just slightly move this a little left or right, it'll either increase or decrease uh, how soon this is firing. And it's like trying to tune in an old distributor, how you had to rotate it, I think. That's what it seems like it's doing to me. But the RPMs here before were down in the 500s. Once I adjusted this a little bit to the right, since these are all facing out south, I think if they were north magnets, you'd have to adjust it to the left. Just taking a guess there. Uh, but when I adjusted that over, held it in place, and uh, tried to get the RPM and, and read that, uh, I got almost 200 uh, RPMs. It went from 5 something to 704. Uh, the amp amp draw did increase from around uh, 700 to just touching 800 milliamps, and the uh, amp draw or the amp input pretty much stayed in the same right there. So I'm wondering if we mess with the resistance, if that will increase the input, or if that's going to remain a constant. I think they said it was like 0.75 milliamp is what you get out of an SG, uh, SSG circuit going to the battery. And we're sitting at uh, 250 with all these uh, running right now. As you can listen to this here, see what she's doing. I'm about to tape a piece of tape on this right here now in the center. Seven hundred and four. That's, that's one little tune-up. And the uh, charge on these two batteries, I think I'm going to have to disconnect those and charge them independently because this first battery has been charged the most. And uh, it'll take off on me, but it's been sitting here at uh, 1387 and just doesn't go any higher. It just sits there. So, I think that last battery, that's the one that they said couldn't be charged. It might be holding this back. And I'm going to have to uh, pop that top off, check the uh, fluid, and make sure it's topped off with distilled water. Uh, the way Fan was showing on his videos, it's one thing I want to try. And this one's been doing pretty good. And this is actually the strongest one of the three of them I got. This thing takes forever once you charge it up to uh, drain it down. So anyway, I'll post these results so you guys can see it. RPMs are up listen to it, it even sounds a little smoother a little more RPMs and hopefully when I switch these other batteries up maybe we'll get a little bit more output but right now she's just sitting there maybe she's cooking the batteries I have no heat on any of these resistors resistors excuse me nothing at all everything's running really cool okay now I did leave this little jumper on here if I do touch it down like I used to on the other one it just kind of bogs down but my watch the amp draw when I touch this or actually the uh, input reading see the input increases RPMs stay pretty close. This thing actually slow down slightly, and the amp reading goes up to uh, one amp. Take that back off. She's back to 800. You'll see that falling back down where it was at. Should probably end up at 1387. But before this used to increase the RPMs quite a bit. Now it doesn't uh, with these two extra coils uh, that I've added. Actually, four uh, run coils, four transistors. 
Now, if you remember before, this was set up before I was at uh, about 600 milliamps, and just installing these two additional co uh, coils, so four, four run windings, it rose the, uh, uh, just the way everything was set up before, it, ro it, it rose from uh, 600 milliamps to 700 milliamps. And now with this little tune-up that uh, Doug just showed me, we're up to right at 800 milliamps and the input's increased. There it is, back to 1387 now. So, let's see how, what else we can get this thing to do. A little bit more input from it. I'll post these results so you guys can see what happened.